When you play the Game of Thrones, you subscribe and like. Or you die. There is no middle ground. All right, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Grease Comedy YouTube channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about our boy Rob Stark. Was a love potion used on him by Jane Westerling? or even Thebelle Spicer, who was the granddaughter of Maggie the Frog. Now, this would have been done for a multitude of reasons, and could it have happened? Does it make sense in the context of what happens and what we find out in A Feast for Crows with Jamie? We're going to talk about that in this video, but before we do, if you guys like to like, subscribe, and comment, please do it up channel grow richer people that might like this content as well. And also, we're going to be doing all the videos on House of the Dragon, talking about the videos, doing summaries of all of the episodes and also we are going to be doing kind of previews for most of the episodes as well so look forward to that but getting into the actual video let's talk about the main point of where this theory comes from so the idea here is that maggie the frog knew how to use love potions we know this from multiple sources in the chapters and in the books and it's very odd that cybel spicer who you know is related to jane westerling would have this information and were told this information specifically. The also the other thing here is, and we also know that they were trying to kind of make amends with Tywin to kind of keep their stature for the most part. And we know that Jane was basically being forced to not have children. She was being given something to make it to where she wasn't going to drink or where she wasn't going to get pregnant and therefore eliminating Rob having an error. Basically, Jane did not know this, and that's kind of where that went with it. Now, looking at all these things, does it make sense from a narrative point of view? How does it affect the story, and does it make logical sense with characters that we know of? Well, here's the thing, and the big reason I don't like this theory is I think it really harms Rob's character, because... Rob's story is this whole idea that he was a great military commander and that he struggled with the politics. He made a lot of bad decisions, and that kind of led him to his downfall at the Red Wedding. If we start doing things like this, where we go, oh, well, the, this was a love potion, Rob really wasn't fault here, didn't have any blame, it kind of takes away from Rob's character, right? It kind of eliminates one of Rob's weaknesses, and it makes him not as interesting of a character, in my opinion. So to me, on that front of it i don't like the theory now two i also don't like it from jane westerling's point of view i think it takes away from her character as well and i think there was more i think there was other things going on to where jane was being set up to get with rob but not as far as a love potion because i think that takes away a lot of the elements of what were the westerlings really doing what was cybel i struggle with her name trying to do because I find it very odd when we see that Rob gets injured, that he's not tended by a maester, he's not tended by kind of a nurse, he's tended by Jane, right? Jane's the one that kind of is with him, and it seems very strategic placement that Jane is the one here, that Cybele was kind of playing on this idea where, okay, if Jane is to get with Rob, she becomes Queen of the North, and say this doesn't go well and which has ended up, you know, happening, right? You can always go back on it and she can continuously kind of, once she sees the war kind of going bad, she can kind of talk with Tywin Lannister, start to undermine Rob and get their place back, right? That's exactly what ends up happening. So I think it undermines House of Westerling, first of all, and two, I think it undermines Rob. So I don't really like the love potion situation for either party in this faction. I think it makes the story a little bit less so this is kind of a shorter video. Just uh, just want to explain a, a theory, um, and I want to see what your guys' opinions are. Do you guys think it's possible? Do you guys think that it happened? What are your guys' thoughts? But thank you guys all for watching the video. Again, another really short one. Sorry for that. I know a lot of you guys like the longer videos, but this is something I've been kind of wanting to do a video on for a couple of weeks now, and I finally got to it. But thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention.